Hey friends, Justin here. Blisters, plantar fasciitis, foot pain, stress fractures. Every hiker that I know has had foot issues at one point or another while out on a trip. The reason for this is that most people, and this probably includes you, are taking the completely wrong approach to footwear. Today I want to provide you a bunch of tips in order to choose footwear more effectively so that you're more comfortable on the trail and optimizing your backcountry adventures. Tip number one is to be honest with yourself about how active you are and what kind of lifestyle you live. Are you someone like me who sits at a desk all day for work or are you someone who has a more active job and you're out on your feet all day? Are you hiking multiple times a month or are you only getting out every other month or a few times a year. These are things that are really gonna affect what kind of footwear you might need on the trail. If you're not out on your feet all day for your day-to-day -day job or you're not a runner, then your feet probably lack strength and you're gonna need a shoe with a bit more structure and support if you really wanna be doing long days on the trail. If you only get out occasionally, then you wanna make sure that you're choosing a shoe that's not significantly different than what you use for walking and running in your day-to-day -day life. I've heard many, many reports of people getting foot issues and plantar fasciitis because they try to go for a zero drop or barefoot shoe when they're used to a shoe that has a bit more drop. And drop is the difference between the heel height and the toe height of the foam in the shoe. Tip number two is to consider where you are hiking. I don't know if you guys have heard about the other YouTuber Darwin on the trail. Hey guys, it's Darwin. But he seems to be liking to hike a lot of desert trails recently. They seem really smooth and consistent, but that ground looks to be like concrete. And he's even mentioned that it's really hard to walk on this ground. And because of that, he uses a very cushioned shoe that has a really tall stack height and a lot of foam to cushion his footfalls. But a shoe like that may not be as good on more technical terrain like scree slopes in the mountains. Personally, I hike in the Canadian Rockies and I really like using the Topo Mountain Racer shoe. I find it's a great balance of cushioning for when I'm hiking big days, but then also a lot of structure and support for when I'm on those more technical spots. A couple years ago, I tried Ultra Lone Peaks because of all the through hikers that were raving about them, but they just didn't work for me. They weren't supportive and weren't good for the type of terrain and areas that I was hiking in. Tip number three is to look at your foot shape and all of your foot characteristics. This is probably one of the most overlooked things that I see out there when choosing footwear. And most people, they'll look at the length of their foot and maybe the width, but they don't consider things like your foot volume, your arch characteristics, and the maybe the curvature of your foot as well. Feet are so unique that it's unrealistic to think that only one or two shoes are gonna work for the majority of people. And you compound that foot uniqueness with lifestyle uniqueness, and I'm surprised there's not even more shoes out on the market in order to accommodate everyone. This is where a shoe fitter can really come in handy. I definitely recommend using a shoe fitter when you're trying to buy new shoes because they'll be able to tell you what sort of characteristics you should be looking at in order to pick a shoe that's gonna work best for your foot morphology. Tip number four is don't suffer. If a shoe is giving you blisters, is causing you knee pain, foot pain, then sell it, try something new. I know this is easier said than done, but it's not worth suffering. If you've worn out your old shoes and you need a new shoe and your old one isn't working perfectly, then maybe use this opportunity to try something new as well because there are shoes out there that are gonna work for you. There's so many different shoe brands and models within those brands that I think you can probably find something, you just need to take the time. And something that I heard recently from someone who works at an outdoor retailer that blew my mind was that 90% of the people who went into the store bought the first shoe that they tried on, which is crazy to me. I don't care how many Darwin review videos or gear junkie footwear lists you've seen, definitely try on a bunch of different shoes and make sure that you're taking the time to find one that's gonna work best for you. If you're curious about ways that I'm gonna be keeping my feet more comfortable out on the trail this year, then go check out the video that I'll post right up there. It talks about new gear that I'm gonna be using in 2021 and it has two pieces that are footwear related and are really meant to help keep your feet more comfortable out on the trail. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.